for y'all. So you just go my small story is and my small story is that um as an artist um I relied on a lot of things and that one thing was creating something on canvas. And this was like amazing because um this was a found object here on the street. Really? And what I did was um I knew when I saw it that it would have a different method and a color to it. So I added the acrylics on it and it really came out really fabulous. It became a uh, cinema. And um, it's really amazing because um, my story was that um, I would finish it up and create something that would um, uh, give an, an, an allusion to, uh, to what it is. And um, this is a glove that I used to wear. Now you see that I'm in action. Okay. Roll camera. My other story is to live or die. That's where um, this captured in uh, part of the uh, soul of a cross. And capturing through uh, X is that you have to make it on the other side or you wind up dead. Here is another self-portrait of me, the ball of fire. And uh, it has a really interesting cake setting of a hat of a guy like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here's another one, the Oasis of uh, Contrary um, Acrylic, again, on campus. Um, it, it's splendidly uh, it's split personalities, but there's still the glory of another piece in the center of us all. The Peak Show is really magnificent because Magnificent. Yeah, because everybody <laughs> loves, like, you know, they yeah. go in peak shows and they watch, you know, they do stuff like that. I don't want to show you this right now until the show is done. Gotcha. There's something that uh, you have to peek when you come to the uh, show and see it. Dude, you got some, your colors, yeah. pa your color palette, just your um, expressions are gorgeous, beautiful, man. Well, thank this, you very much. You got rainy, poor, the way this day is going, it's beautiful. Where, okay. where did it come from? You always... This, this came from um, an old school um, way about me uh, painting uh, and watching all the other fabulous people like Five by Freddy, yeah. like um, Crazy Legs. You know, all these people were like um, back in the times when I grew up. And I had to express it to make it real funky and really hot on canvas in my style. And what I like about it is that the fact that um, painting on acrylic and canvas, you can create your whole world to what you want to do as an artist. Where'd you start? Where were you born and raised? Well, I was born and raised in Brooklyn. Um, um, parents' um, heritage um, on my mother's side is uh, Liberia. And um, my father's heritage on his side is um, Portu Portuguese. Okay. Um, and uh, I was born and raised in Brooklyn, you know? So I came a long way of, um, you know, through the urban war drug fair back in the 70s and the gotcha. 80s. And I'm here to tell the story um, that uh, art is where it's at. And um, if you can survive through it, um, there's, most of those people are not here to tell the story. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, war yeah. Fair. So I'm still one of the ones that made it through the art and trying to uh, still move forward into a, a whole new horizon. Did your experience come from your challenges with drugs and lifestyle my, in New York? My or? experience came through all of that, all um, of that. because um, my mother was giving me crayons and you know I would do like unusual things as a kid and people would tell me like you know he's not only doing like crayon books this guy's drawing like all kinds of crazy <laughs> stuff you know and you know look at what he's doing and um, those things have captured me into a long experience uh, throughout the ghetto and throughout um, living in, in New York City. Uh, it was kind of rough growing up and, you know, um, I captured my art because I wanted to do something that would uh, capture other people's eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it a turning point, you say, in your life when you were really, when you were producing this art where... I don't know, it was really, it was having an effect on you emotionally or just helping you grow or you just knew um, you needed to share it? Well, yeah, it does help me grow because one thing is that uh, an artist never stops, you know, this is something for the rest of your life. If you really is an artist, there's always going to be different styles and new ways of doing things. 